so I uh, fixed my ozone generator, kind of. Um, I bought a new transformer from eBay. It uh, this one's double the voltage, just double the size as well. So this is 15,000 uh, volts. It's a uh, 30 milliamp transformer. It's a Transco instead of a Transformer. Um, and this time I built a uh, spark safety gap. So I took spark plugs, old ones, um, and cut off the threading. So all you get, you get this insulation exposed right here. Um, and then I just tied each positive or each hot to, like here's a hot one, here's a hot one, 15,000 volts on each side, and then I have ground right here. But this transformer is center tapped, so if I were to measure between here and here, it'd be 7,500, same here. But here and here you get 15,000. Um, so yeah, I, the problem here, I was getting arcing around the plates because 15,000 volts is just way too much for the insulation that I have. So what I did, uh, I took only one side of each transformer <clears throat> and put it to the plate. So this is, gets a 7,500 um, volt side of the transformer and this one is actually ground. Same with the other one. So it's a dramatic reduction. So this one works. This is apparently how you're supposed to build a safe um, ozone generator. Well, I wouldn't say safe in that sense, but safe to the transformer. Otherwise, it'll blow out your transformer real fast, um, as I experienced. So, we can give this a try. The problem with this is these are actually big capacitors right here. You're building big capacitors, and um, that creates higher voltage due to the oscillation coming out of this thing, uh, 60 hertz. So you have to build this to uh, take off any additional voltage. If the voltage gets too high, it'll blow out the secondary coil. But when the voltage gets high enough, it'll arc to ground. These are set so when I have no load on, they're set so n it won't arc. But when I put this big virtual capacitor on here, it will arc as you see because um, the voltage gets too high. And we'll try this out real quick. It arcs because uh, I need a fan on it. So yeah, really with all the safety features, this is impractical. So if anyone has a real way of making an ozo generator by practical means, let me know. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do this. This is just ridiculous of how unsafe this could be. Um, so yeah, if you decide to make an ozone generator with a neon sign transformer, you're going to want a safety gap. Otherwise, you can spend a whole bunch of money on a transformer and then blow it out. Luckily, I got this one for cheaper than the one before. Got a good deal. So, just be careful about what you do. If you decide to create an ozone generator, you'll just lose a bunch of money. Um, but even if you do create one and you build the safety gap, uh, it ends up being impractical anyway. So, I don't know. I think ozone generation is just kind of impractical altogether, but if you have any interesting comments or um, different ways of creating high voltage that doesn't um, blow itself out, let me know, because that transformer will blow out without the safety gap. It'll end up arcing internally. Alright, that's it.